When it comes to cleaning as opposed to sanitizing, visual inspection is one way to determine whether the cleaning activities were effective. When it comes to sanitizing, something called environmental monitoring is required to determine whether the sanitization was effective, because we can't see with our eyes whether or not we successfully killed the targeted microorganisms. We discuss microbial control and environmental monitoring in another video. Right now, we are going to discuss visual cleaning inspections. Visual inspections are conducted at planned intervals in accordance with your risk assessment. But for product contact surfaces, inspections are typically conducted every time a product contact surface is cleaned. A product contact surface includes not only equipment surfaces, but also containers and utensil surfaces that come into contact with the product. The inspection must be performed by someone other than the person who did the cleaning, and the inspection must be documented. As part of the documentation, a finding on effectiveness must be included, as well as whether any corrective actions were necessary, such as recleaning or retraining. When performing a visual inspection, look for the following. The absence of any residue. The absence of any foreign remnants from brushes, rags, or other cleaning utensils. The absence of any cleaning tools or chemicals left behind. The absence of damage to equipment or parts. Also, look for maintenance or engineering issues that may make cleaning more difficult, such as cracks and crevices that collect soil and are difficult to clean, inaccessible areas that make cleaning more difficult, leaking lines or equipment, areas with frequent condensation, holes in walls or the ceiling, and so forth. If you find conditions that make cleaning less effective or efficient, then notify the relevant parties and correct the issue where possible.